I really do not compare myself to others. I pray to God and I am grateful for what's going on in my life and in my circle. I pour into myself and to my family. If I am not content or I want to change something, I do what I can to change my habit and I pray to God. What's up, beautifuls? I am back. No catfish today. You can see it's me. Usually I have like a really pretty picture and then you see me and I don't have no makeup on looking a mess. But today's different. I don't compare myself to others. I know a lot of people are probably like, like she, she's capping. Like there's no way that she cannot compare herself to others we're all human we all look at somebody else and we're like okay well i want this or why isn't that happening to me or how how, how did that happen to that person and not me like i mean like i'm just saying that it is it's, it's natural you know what i mean that's just sometimes we naturally do it these are the steps that i take for me not to compare myself to others and since i have been taking this approach honestly i've just been fulfilled and just been real grateful and just loving and just thanking God and everything, but I'm just gonna jump into it. What I read in the very beginning, that is what I wrote to myself. I wanted to start off the video with that. I feel like it was powerful. So I wanted to start it off with that. The first one is that I said, I know God can and will bless me and my time is coming. In life, all of us, we accomplish things and we do things at different times. Like, some, like sometimes people are more successful in life er earlier in their twenties. Sometimes people don't become successful until they're, they're late their late 40s you can't compare your journey to somebody else's and that's what i learned i don't do that because somebody else's walk is not god's walk for me you know and once i realized that i noticed that i was just zoned in and now i've just been focusing on myself my faith has grown bigger than a mustard seed god said all you need is a faith of a mustard mustard seed god has done so many tremendous things in my life now my faith is bigger than that and thank god for that so now I know for a fact, like God, I claim it and I know for a fact that you're going to meet me halfway and whatever I'm asking for, I know I'm going to get it because I believe in you. I believe in Jesus Christ and I believe not only in God, but I believe in myself and I know that I have the, the ability to do that. Now, I don't do social media like that. I only do Facebook, but other platforms, I don't do it like that. I was on Instagram for like five days straight constantly and I was like very depressed and I'm like, what the heck? Like, that's the problem. I'm not a social media head. I don't be on social media like that. Now, when social media like when facebook first came out and all that oh i was on it all day every day that's just what i did honestly like i'm the type of person like the news and all like bad things that happen i don't want that stuff in my spirit i'm real particular of what i'm watching what i'm pouring into my to my heart and my ears because i always want to be filled with god's love and god's peace limited social media so i noticed that once i honestly i want to say about like probably like uh i want to say like three years ago i was like all right my show like you're on social media too much like you really gotta limit it i i started limiting social media like i was like all right like this week i'm only gonna get on facebook four times then the next week i'm like all right three times two times and then it went to none and then sometimes i used to always deactivate my facebook and then i look up i'm like damn it's been like two months and i have not been on my facebook once i started getting in the habit it took me i want to say about like 30 days to get in the habit so limiting that and I noticed that um, that's when I was really able to work on my relationship with God. And that's when I was really able to work on different aspects of my life and really uh, work on getting like my dream job and really work, work on like getting like my GED, which I speak about on my channel, like a lot of different things that was that has been happening in my life. I just been really focusing. And honestly, I feel like social media is kind of like too, it's too of the world. And I know I say this all the time, but I'm not of the world. Like I'm different. Like all that other, all that stuff, the trends and all stuff, like honestly, I'm an old head. I don't really, I don't care about all that. So I just rather be in my zone and my zone only. And once I noticed that I limit social media, that's when God started working wonders. And that's when I really started to work on different projects and starting to work on different things that I, you know, visualize and wanted to work on, wanted to create. That's what I've been doing. Number three. Now this one, I think this is really going to hit home for a lot of you guys. I said, if I'm, if I'm comparing myself, if I see that I'm comparing myself to someone, then I change it. Like, for example, I used to always get on YouTube and I look up like these different, I see like these different makeup videos, right? Or if I like go to a party or go to a club and I see like girls, like their faces just beat and I'm like, wow, like I'm like mad jealous right now. Like I want my makeup to look like that, right? And I'm like, wow, like I never knew how to put on like eyelashes. Like I never knew none of that. Like I never knew any of that. So I, I at first I was like, dang, like, I'm, I'm low key jealous because my face does not look like that. So I was like, you know what, my don't compare, just start working on it. I was watching how to cover pigmentation, like how to, you know, do like your eyeshadow, how to all that stuff, all that stuff. Okay. All that stuff. I was looking up all that stuff. So let's see, let me try to find a makeup regimen 
regimen that works for me so i kept doing my makeup different different ways different ways different ways watching these girls watching these girls keep trying sometimes i'll do my wake some days i'll do my makeup and i'll hate it the next day i'm like i love it so i'm like okay like on the days that i love my makeup i'm like all right so what did you do what what steps what routine did you do that day because you loved how your makeup looked so then i did that and now I applied it to my everyday makeup look. And now every time I look in the mirror, like I love my makeup, you know, I do. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about it, but I love my makeup and I get compliments all the time. No, it's not that dramatic, but I've never been a really dramatic girl. I've been kind of like, you know, I was raised up, born in the nineties. So I'm real kind of on the natural side, like look real pretty, but still natural at the same time. And even like working out, like let's say if I look at somebody, I'm like, oh wow, like that girl, like you could tell she's been working out. I don't compare myself. What I do, what I do, I go to the lab and I start I start working hard in the gym. I start getting up at like five in the morning and then I start working out. I've been working out every day at five in the morning because I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna compare myself to anybody because it's my fault that I have not been consistent in the gym. Go, sometimes I go to the gym and honestly, I just be winging it, bro. I, I, I be, sometimes I be on my phone, be on the leg machine. Like sometimes I be, that beat me, I don't be in it. But you know, I, I told myself when you do that, you don't get the results that you want. But honestly, I do it for the feeling. I love the way it feels. It just relieves stress. Like yesterday, I was having a really stressful day, and what I did, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say anything. Well, I said to my husband, I said, "Look, I'm going to the gym. Grab my headphones, change my outfit, all that stuff. Went to the gym, worked out, did a hard, intense, uh, intensity workout on the treadmill. I did some burnouts, and after that, I felt amazing. What I'm saying is that." Instead of comparing, I, I make I make the changes in my life. I change my habits. You know, when I see somebody's on track, that just helps me get on track. When I see myself trying to compare somebody, I go, ah, don't compare yourself because you ain't been doing the work. Start doing the work like them and then you'll be set. So that's how I see it. I also said, I said number four, I said, I know that my life is just as good as the next person. I know that they're successful, but I know I'm successful too. So you see a lot of people announcing, oh my gosh, I opened my new business. Oh my gosh, I got on this talk show. Oh my gosh, my band's doing so good. Oh my gosh, my business is doing so good. Oh my gosh, I'm traveling the world, right? Like people do all the time, which is fine because guess what? I'm working on my YouTube channel. I'm working on my business. I'm working on traveling the world. So it's like, I'm not there. And, and when people talk about their, their success, you know, okay, they're successful in their job. Guess what? I'm successful in my job. I worked hard to get myself to where I'm at. So I just noticed that you know other people that are successful i just look at myself and i just uh, reassure myself and say my show you know that you're successful too right you know that you're smart too right you know that everything that you've been putting your mind to you know that you've been doing it right you know that your life is going in the right direction and even if i don't feel successful i fake it i may not be successful but i'm gonna say i'm successful you got to speak it in your life you know what i mean so last but not least i said i pray to god to continue to allow me to be happy for others that is a big thing. The people that are genuine and that are really happy when people are successful, when you look at their life, God has done wonders in their life. I have a lot of friends that are very happy for me. And when you look at their life, they're very successful. They're doing beautiful things. You have to allow yourself to be happy for people, right? And even like I was watching this one girl on YouTube, I wrote on her video and I'm like, hey, like I am a really good, a really big fan of your channel. And I love like all your content and I love what you're doing. And I'm, I think it's amazing how you got on here you only have like 38 videos but then you have then you worked yourself up to have a thousand subscribers now you have five thousand subscribers like that's a blessing and i'm so happy for her because she worked hard to get to where she's at my following is not five thousand right now it's a thousand but i thank god for that and i thank god and i know when i see that five thousand is coming you know and i believe it i may not see it right now but even in my head i always see my picture on youtube and then i see the one and I see the meal because that's what I pray and I, I pray that one day that I I pray that one day I get to that. But I always want to allow God to allow me to be happy and to be there for others and their success. So I love you guys so much. This video was just it was just it was just on my mind. Why I don't know, but I just been praying to God. I said, God, if you have anything that you want me to put out on my channel or anything you want me to say, just give it to me. I won't I won't hesitate. I'll just write the ideas down and record the videos. I feel like this will help somebody else. Like, man, when you're content, you're so happy with yourself and God has been so good to you and you see that your life is going in a good direction. Honestly, there's like no choice. You're gonna be happy for everybody else because you see that it's happening for you. So you're gonna pour that out and you're gonna be happy for everybody else because you're like, look, I'm successful and you successful with me. Let's be successful together. You know what I mean? So I love you guys so much. I really hope that this video was amazing. I hope this video helped you get through your day, ladies, ladies and gents. 
Don't compare yourself. Really work on and force yourself to stay in your lane. Work on and force yourself to make your life better. If you're not happy with it, just know you can always change it. I pray that God sends y'all blessings. I pray that God sends you uh, guys love. I hope that you guys are all having a good day. I love you guys. Until next time, okay? I'm out.